Hello everyone, it's Kylie from Paper Daisy Journals. Welcome to my channel, to any new subscribers. I would like to introduce you to a journal I have created. Her name is Inga and I made Inga as a journal swap with a very talented journal maker on Instagram. Um, her name is Brita and I will link her Instagram account in the description below because she just makes the most beautiful creations. I'm always inspired and Brita made a journal on Instagram. It was her just because journal <laughs> and I complimented her on how amazing it was and Brita asked if we could do a journal swap and she would give me that particular journal and I would make one for her and of course I said definitely yes. <laughs> um, Brita, when I asked what type of journal, Brita did say um, soft colours so I interpreted that as quite um, neutral and this is how Inga came about. So she is, <laughs> she is not little at all. <laughs> she is very, um, very, very full of hopefully wonderful things. So I will just quickly, there's a lot to go through, so I'll just quickly go through how I made the cover. I've used a linen base that I tea stained and on the top I have literally laid a whole lot of doilies, neutral coloured doilies. I'm going to try and open it without everything falling out. So you can see how I have just layered different doilies and I have machine sewn them on but not right to the edge. So there's still a lot of movement on the cover of the journal. Um, not to the point where anything's going to come off because as you would know if you've seen um, other videos I've made of journals <laughs> very well constructed um, and on the front here I've used this beautiful art deco style mother of pearl brooch and I've given that a bit of height with some crocheted medallions and a doily so that's sort of the focus on the front cover I used eyelets because I didn't want to wrap anything around the top so there's a gold eyelet at the front and the back it's four signatures look how <laughs> look how much is going on there uh, pleased to say there's no gator mouth really at this point i do actually weight my journals down just a handy hint with a large crystal in a heart shape and that um, stretches the spine so <laughs> inga has been stretched <laughs> um and let's go inside and have a look. So, I have used some book pages um, on the inside cover, some open weave um, linen cotton blend, and that has been stitched down. There's, you know, a ruffled pocket. I've made a few tags out of um, book pages, which you'll see throughout. And I've tried to use, um, as I said, neutral colours. There was only a, the slightest pop of, of other colours. Um, but here, my mother has actually helped me cut out a lot of these tags, um, which has been lovely. That's a wax seal. Um, this was part of a doily that had a decoration on it and there was a plain bit, but this was so pretty. So I just sort of stitched another piece of doily on there. That's a um, embossed handmade handmade paper tag that I've just slipped in there and that's on an original French document. Some Edith Holden, so that's just part of a page. And I coffee stained um, and sort of blobbed coffee onto the paper um, and I put it in the sun so it didn't have that residual sort of coffee smell, but there's a little owl on a charm. I love the sound of those. Um, because Brita um, has a lot of sort of grunginess in her journals, very nature themed. So I sort of tried to go with that um, 
making Inga. I'll just show you here. I've just extended that ruffle there and added a little bow charm at the bottom. I'm really hoping um, to stay in frame. <laughs> Um, but ink is big. Um, here I have, there might be a lot of this holding up to the camera. I have hand stitched um, Brita's name onto a heart. This is a little pocket. I'll just get a tag. That's a little pocket there. Um, and I may put my little note to um, Brita in that pocket. That's a book page as well. This is a printable from one of my grungy antique um, kits and I've just pinned that on with a decorated um, Tim Holtz paper clip and you know little bits and pieces can definitely be stuck on for interest that's another piece of ephemera that's a piece of wallpaper and I just added a little ruffle there because I knew it would be sort of sticking out in that orientation so you can see the um, swan fabric pocket with a little snippet at the bottom and that's another book page tag and again a little collaging I've used wallpaper um, and some of that German measuring tape this is a gorgeous little um, vintage brass medallion that I've sewn on that's a little snippet and a tab and I just stuck um, a little um, applique part of an applique on the back there and that's a beautiful embossed piece of paper and this was one of those doilies that um, is quite sort of frilly around the edge um, which is often quite difficult to sort of put in a journal but I just sort of stretched it tight and sewed it as a corner pocket because it's quite weighty so it holds things in it um, this is from one of my grungy antique um, pages I just cut the bow out this is a doily that I have stitched on and that's another piece of ephemera with just a little element on the edge sort of poking out there to sort of add that layering uh, some tissue paper and that, that is a little envelope I haven't put anything inside it um, and that's another medallion here's one with a really gorgeous um, little dangle on the side and it just looks so cool hanging off the bottom part of a handkerchief and that's just a book page that I've added a few things to to make it interesting and tucked that in there I did ask Bruta if she journaled or whether it was more just um, a, a decorative piece for inspiration and um, uh, Britta I think is like me with limited time um, you don't get a lot of time to journal so I sort of probably over decorated but um, I guess that's the point so that's a, a um, journal page an antique french journal page i've just stuck some lace down the side i've stuck it to the coffee stained page with the ruffle and just put a little snippet from one of the book pages but this is a pocket that i've just put a tag in with a little chubby um, topper so that sort of hangs out the bottom of the journal i'll just move that up so you can see how it hangs out the bottom and I've also used um, washi tape just to sort of cover up the stitches and add an interest onto that page. That's a stamped um, tea bag that I, that's been opened out and I have a little brad at the top there and a, a mother of pearl button. And I did stitch that um, flap, I guess. <laughs> There's a better word, I haven't found it. <laughs> Um, I've stitched that down so it, it becomes like a tuck spot and that's another piece of ephemera from my antique kit and I've just sewn um, some edging along there because I knew it was going to be sticking out um, that way. In the middle of this signature I have um, stitched a piece of doily um, over the top of the tuck spot so that's another piece of ephemera in my um, grungy antiques kits and I've just put a little um, gold um, edge on the top there 
and here that's an old um, crystal bead and some gold beads and a little bell just so it's got like a little bit of music there <laughs> um, which I thought was fun and here I've just um, included a book page um, because it's got some things on both sides but I know that um, Britta loves nature themes um, so that's there and this is a cute little cluster a tab with a ruffle and a little um, button that I've sort of sewn the bow on this side and that is a wax seal at the bottom there um, in here this is a big pocket a big lace pocket and I've just added a little booklet there um, and reinforced the middle and that's just machine stitched for something a bit fun and there's some cute little lammies there so I've just tucked that in um, and that's a doily I've sort of stuck that down to the page because you can write over the top of it um, and that is a French fashion magazine page I think from the 1800s another book page look how cute that little button is with the yellow rose so I've just pinned that on with one of Tim Holt's little pins and that's a doily I've turned into a pocket with an original wallpaper tag tucked in um, on this side I have a um, embroidered fabric pocket and that's another one of the book page tags and a few more little buttons and I love this absolutely this was off a bag and um, I was struggling to find a use for the bag so I just literally tore um, the beautiful ribbon work off and made it into a pocket um, I've used some glitter <laughs> for Britta <laughs> um, and this is actually a little poem from the Edith Holden book the cow slip and I just circled like a couple of words that jumped out at me spring beauty freckled gold love pure and queen <laughs> so I've just sort of tucked that in um, there because there are some pages in the Edith Holden book that don't have a beautiful illustration um, so that's a way that you can sort of use that um, by just sort of circling words and I've just done a little collage down the bottom there with a pin and look at that gorgeous little button there so I've just um, used a safety pin to pin that on little um, ruffle that's a nice a gorgeous book page um, and here's another piece of ephemera just like with a big sort of um, tie twist at the top she's sort of poking out over the fence um, beautiful vintage um, crystal bead <clears throat> and that's another part of that doily that had quite a scalloped edge and that's another book page I've turned into a tag and <clears throat> there was sort of a blank space here so I just sort of um, put two holes in with um, tea stained eyelets and just sort of wove a ribbon because that will sort of hang down the bottom of the page I thought that was a fun decoration um, <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> anyway um, I have a little you know cluster there I've just sort of pinned on with a um, little mini staple and on this side I've got BM um, for Britta and her surname I thought that was a nice little touch that's a um, book page from a botanic book I got in a happy mail um, here I had a little doily and I was actually going to do it as sort of a tab on the side but um, it sort of it was too big um, compared to everything else so I decided to make it into a tiny pocket and normally I avoid that because then I have to try and make a tiny tag and it all seems when you've gotten this far in your mind it all just seems a bit too much but I did manage <laughs> So I have a narrow tag, probably my first ever narrow tag, and really easy to make, lots of fun, and look how cute it is as it sort of sticks in there. So 
um, discovering all these things. I am, I probably am, a, I'm not a lazy crafter. I'm just a fast crafter. When I get into the flow, I don't really like to be held up with tedious details <laughs> necessarily. Um, I'm changing my tune though. You will have noticed over the last couple of videos. So there you go. A leopard can change its spots slightly. I've uh, just added a little snippet onto that um, Belgian telegram. And here I've, this is wallpaper, but the, the um, back side of it, um, because I really liked the embossing. And I've just added a little um, doily medallion there and a glittery um, lady. She's from the antique, grungy antiques kit as well. I just wanted to, because not everything needs to have a topper, I've realized. Um, but it need for me it needs to have something and glitter is just as good <laughs> um, and here is this is a luggage tag that I've tea stained so I didn't actually cut this tag out and I've just added another snippet of that doily on there and sewn it around um, to add you know um, a bit of texture and a big topper and this is a French um, diary page and I just really loved um, the image on that so I've just tucked that in there with one of those Tim Holtz pins because I felt that it needed something here and I didn't want to put too much because Inga was getting very full <laughs> so I sort of just left that I guess fairly blank um, and then I go ahead and I just you know I found a bit of linen and I stapled it to the top that was actually off the lining of the spine. Um, anyway, that's at the top though, you know. Um, and another um, ruffle and I've just put it a little charm at the bottom there. That's a very grungy page for me. <laughs> grungy coffee, coffee dyed page. Um, here I've got a little ruffle and I've just put some ledger and that's on um, some really antique music paper and I just put a um, a brad there because I just wanted to sort of um, add something on that side and I was going to add a cluster of lace but as you know there's a lot going on <laughs> there's only so much you can fit into a journal comfortably but you cannot take this out because that's all joined with this sort of, it's a faux floating pocket because <laughs> it looks like it's floating, but it's not. Um, however, the tag does come out and I just had a little um, snippet from a book page. So I just ruffled that up and inked it and I just sort of love that. Didn't want to put anything on the top. A beautiful embossed piece of paper <clears throat> that Britta can use maybe to... Um, decorate the journal and you know just some layering there this is a um, book illustration it's double-sided and I've just sort of pinned that on the back there um, in here I've put another booklet this is sort of like a cascading one I guess it happened accidentally because I wanted the I wanted this part to stick out so for that to happen um, this part ended up being shorter and then I just sort of went with it so sometimes things can happen um, naturally and um, there are a few people doing sort of cascade journals which would look absolutely spectacular so that's my little lazy take on a full journal of cascading pages. Uh, here I have a little crystal that I have stitched onto um, that tab top and I've just stapled this here so there's some hidden journaling space and it just sort of adds interest as well. Uh, this is another pocket that I made out of half a doily and I did a floating pocket here and I, instead of sticking the sides down, I just stuck some of that tape all the way around so it's sort of open there and I just you know did something very simple on that tag just stuck a snippet on it and stuck it in and then just put um, that at the bottom so that was sort of sticking out and that's kind of sideways so there's a lot of layering going on 
just in that spot. I've got a lot of favorite pages in this journal, almost all of them. <laughs> so I really, really hope that Bruta loves the journal. Um, I did sort of make this tag with that um, centered at the bottom and that's just tea stained and a book page. Um, and at the back here, I just wove the closure through the doily so that it would still sort of stick out. So on this side, I didn't do that. It's kind of ruffled it in, but I think that looks all right. So that is Inga. I went as quickly as I could without being breathless. <laughs> um, and yes, so I really hope that um, Britta loves her journal. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.